Also, um, you can't be in the pastorate very long um, when, without realizing that like uh, headmasters or principal school principals and policemen and politicians, pastors are anger collectors. Have you noticed that? If somebody's angry, that you're the lightning conductor, they dump on you. P angry people dump on pastors. And when you're a young guy out of seminary, you, know, you come there all uh, eager, bushy-tailed, bright-eyed, and you get all these people who just dump on you and it comes out from nowhere. What have I done? Angry people. Why is it that people dump on pastors? It's not only for the reason that they do with policemen because they're symbols of authority, that's the psychological explanation, and there's something of that, um, but they dump on pastors, as I can see it, for two main reasons. One is that it's safe to dump on a pastor because by definition a pastor can't, shouldn't do what? Dump back. Okay, well, it's not absolutely safe because we very often oblige them by going back at them, but uh, 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 you know, at least there's a less chance of the dumping back, and the dumping back is not going to be as bad as the dumping back out there in the world. And secondly, when people are abused, they're not only angry with the abuser, the person who sinned against them, but who are they angry with? God. And they feel they can't get at God, so what do they do? They dump on you and me. And that's a healthy thing, that's a good thing. Even though, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the most onerous sides of the ministry. Um, they dump on you, and part of the trick is to refer it on.